How you doing today? I'm Daryl from NBA Emily Reviews, and today I'm going to be reviewing Luma Fusion on Chromebook. This is my updated review. I initially bought Luma Fusion for my Chromebook about 10 months ago um, once I found out that it had released on Chromebook. I started using it um, at that time. It worked um, good for the most part. Like I posted in um, one of my first few reviews of Luma Fusion on Chromebook, which you can find in the card up above. I mentioned that, you know, it just, it, it had limitations, you know. Um, one of the problems that I initially had when I first started using Luma Fusion on my Chromebook was that, you know, however long the video was that you were um, editing, that's how long it took for the video to actually render. And I don't know if that was just um, the limitations of Chrome OS or the limitations of the, um, the app being on Chrome itself. I don't know. So since then, I've tried about two different Chromebooks um, that I've used with Luma Fusion. And like I said in my first video, initially when I started using Luma Fusion on my Chromebook, it was it was okay. It, it, it was good. You know, it, as I mentioned in my first video, it wasn't it wasn't for me because I can edit a video on my PC and it'll render in about six. It'll render a twenty minute video in about six to eight minutes. So for me. It wasn't very um, useful for me to use a Chromebook to edit with Luma Fusion because if I did a 20 minute video, it would take 20 minutes to render. Or if I did a 12 minute video, it would take 12 minutes to render. And for me, that, that just was, it's just too time, time consuming, you know, for me. Now, fast forward to now, um, you know, 10 months later, I've still used Luma Fusion here and there. But I stopped one day because I was using Luma Fusion on my um, Chrome box upstairs, which um, is a. Um, Chrome Box 3 it has an i7 um, I, I had put some extra RAM so it was 20 gigs of RAM and one day I was editing with Luma Fusion and when I was um, and during the rendering process it just it just crashed and you know that, that, that was very devastating to me I had spent a lot of time editing and only to have it just crash like that and it wasn't like I could just transfer it from Luma Fusion to my PC and edit. So for me, that experience kind of caused me to kind of step back from Luma Fusion. I did try it a few times after that on the um, Chromebook that I'm using now. That I'm actually using this using to film this video. But again, I tried it again, and it crashed. And so for me, it wasn't really a big deal. Because I, like I said before, behind me I have a PC. I, um, I used to, I used to, I used to do, um, used to record and stuff, videos and audio, and do mixing and mastering. So for me, it wasn't really a big deal for me. I, I could use my PC. I, I used DaVinci Resolve 18, which I currently used. The issues that I have with Luma Fusion on Chromebook now is again, it crashes and it, or and or it'll, it'll freeze. I recently purchased the Acer 516 GE, which is um, Google's gaming Chromebook, or so, so, they, so they say. I don't think it's a gaming Chromebook at all. I think it's false advertisement on their part. You can watch many YouTube videos where people are actually using it to um, do cloud gaming, and it's like, well, I was cloud gaming on my um, Fire Tablet 10 point, um, 10 point 10.1. So it's like, you can, I don't need a, I don't need a um, pay 650 bucks, which was, which was what Google was asking for at the time for this gaming Chromebook. Now I got it on um, Amazon refurbished for two ninety nine, but I will be sending it back because um, I use Luma Fusion a few times on it. Um, it edits wonderful. It'll edit all day. The problem is that it won't render. You know, and, um, last night I added two videos about four minutes. The other ones were between four to six minutes. Um, so, and each time it would edit. Wonderful. Add music, add um, titles, add coloring, blase, blase. And when it was time to render, it would crash. Or it would just get to a certain point and freeze. So my conclusion is that I don't I don't know if it's an OS thing. I don't know if it's a limitation of Chromebooks. Um, but what I will say is that I did notice that um, when I was using LumaFusion, and I would check my um, check the uh, the RAM and stuff 
you can go to Google, you can go to settings and diagnose, and it, it'll, it'll actually tell you how much of the RAM is being used. It eats up the RAM. Like, it chews through the RAM like n- nobody's business. And again, I, I don't know if that's a software issue, if that's a Google Chromebook limitation, if that's um, LumaFusion. I did reach out to the LumaFusion team because I wanted to kind of get some understanding of kind of figure out what's going on, why is it crashing. And I even said, to, um, you know, to the uh, LumaFusion support, I said, you know, I've used about three or four different Chromebooks that are within your website's listed requirements and um, and some of them are even over and beyond. So why does it keep crashing? You know, I'm waiting to hear back from them. When they let me know, um, I'll definitely do an update review on that. But for me, for now, I think I'm done with um, LumaFusion on Chromebook. Um, and I will say this 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 is not a biased, you know, kind of update. I'm a Chromebook user. I use Chromebooks for my daily activities. I, I use them every day. The only time my PC on my homie gets cut on is when I'm editing videos. Besides that, it does not get cut on, you know. So I, I, what I'm using now is a Chromebook. The Chromebook that I bought right here. And again, this is the uh, Acer 516GE, which means gaming edition. I just don't think, personally think that LumaFusion on Chromebook is the answer. I know in my first video I said it was the answer. I don't know if it was an issue with the updates or what. But for me, LumaFusion has not been the answer. Like I said, you can, you can edit all day on it. The problem comes in is when you begin to render and it'll crash or freeze. And if there's somebody out there who's who has experienced different results than what I had, please let me know. I would love to hear you know what what you what you're doing and, or what you've done differently. I I do think it's a combination of both the um, limitations of Chromebooks. You know, um, I, I watch I watch YouTube channels of tech guys who actually do a comparison of a gaming Chromebook versus a gaming PC with the same exact specs. And the PC blows the Chrome book out of this world, off the map. So I don't, I, I don't think that I think I think for Google to really, it's 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 a um, it's kind of like false advertisement is, is really what it is. Um, maybe in the future that will change. Maybe in the future Google will come out some type of um, device that that can do what they claim it can do. Um, even even in the YouTube videos that I watch of of the uh, Acer five sixteen which was supposed to be a cloud gaming uh, device, it even stuttered um, in a lot of the games we were playing. It would stutter or it would, you know, it, it would lag. So, again, false advertisement on Google. Um, I'm going to show you real quick the specs that they say it has or what I said, I said that it has. And for those specs, you would think that it would be able to render videos. I, I, I won't say with ease, but I'll say you would think it wouldn't, it wouldn't tax the RAM as much as it does, um, I don't know. I, I know initially when LumaFusion was created, it was created for um, um, for the Apple OS, and maybe it's uh, it's just really designed for that. I don't I don't I'm not really a big Apple user, so I can't really go into details in, as it relates to like what what Apple devices have that Chrome OSs don't have. I know that um, it's also advertised for Android. I haven't tried to use it on an Android device, so I couldn't tell you. With that, maybe I will try to use it on my um, on my Fire Tablet uh, um, 11 inch. I'll try to use it and kind of do another review on that. But for right now, I'm done with LumaFusion on Chrome OS. I will say as a about Chrome user, I think people that use Chromebooks or Chrome boxes, which is a, a, the Chrome desktops, I think they know you know they know why they use them. They're good on security. They're very fast. When you when you when, you, when I cut it on, it usually boots up within five to ten seconds. And I think that for people that use Chrome, they know what they use it for, and it serves the purpose that, that they want it for. So for me, I'm gonna still continue to use Chrome. I just won't use um, LumaFusion, or I won't try to edit videos on it anymore. But real quick before I go, I do want to take you on screen and just show you the specs of the Chromebook that I have, both the one that I'm using now to record. Um, and the one that I had, I just put back on the ground that I showed you in the, um, on screen a while ago. So let's go to it real quick and see. So right here is the um, Chromebook that I have. I'm going to send back the Acer um, 516 GE Cloud Gaming Laptop. i5, 
256 gigs. Installer State Drive it has 8 gigs of RAM. Right here, kind of give you a good idea. It shows you 12th generation, you know, Intel Iris, XE graphics. And this is the one that I'm using now to record. And right here, when I go to Luma Fusion's website, it actually tells you that you need a device that has at least three gigs of RAM and running um, Android 10 or higher. So, with that being said, the Chromebooks that I've used they at least they at least meet the the bare minimum. One of them, you know, one of them is even more. So, for me, it's kind of disappointing that um, I had I haven't been able to get Luma Fusion to work on the Chromebook. Like I said, I just wanted to give an updated review um, to show you guys, you know, what it is, um, what I'm using. So, if if any of you have any kind of um, solutions, or if you have the same issues and you've been able to, to resolve it, please, um, you know, comment below. I would love to hear how you got these issues resolved. But for me, for right now, I'm just going to stick to um, using my PC, um, DaVinci Resolve 18, to edit videos for now. Uh, maybe in another six, seven months to a year, I'll come back and, and see if Google and Numa Fusion have been able to resolve the issue. I, I mean, I honestly doubt it. Because like I said, um, as someone who, who is an avid Chromebook users, I think people who use them, they understand their, their, their limitations. They know what they're used for, what they're not used for. Um, and I just don't think that um, as of now to date, I don't think that the Chrome OS is designed for like heavy applications and things like that, whether it's gaming or editing. Maybe one day in the future it, it will be, but for right now, I don't think that Chrome OS is, you know, is designed to do that. You know, It's designed for cloud-based stuff whether it's um, Word documents, spreadsheets, um, surfing the web, watching YouTube videos, watching um, move movies on different apps, it's wonderful for that, which is predominantly what I use it for. And it works wonderful for me for that. For that, I don't have an issue with it. So for me, um, no more Luma Fusion Chromebook. If any of you out there, you know, have, again, ha have had the same issues, I would love to hear, you know, from you. Thank you for watching my review, NB Indie Reviews. Please like and subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe, please like the video. It helps the channel out. Until next time, peace.